What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again, DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick vlog to discuss the Android O Developer Preview 1 that Google dropped this morning. Uh, now, as you guys know, I've been dropping a lot of videos this week on spring break, so I'm not teaching at the university, which is great, so I'm able to make more content. Uh, I'm not going to do a full rundown of uh, Developer Preview 1 for Android O, mainly because I know my good friend Tim Schofield, QBKing77, he's going to do a full rundown. He always does a great job with those. I'll drop a link below to his video. I hope you'll check it out. I'll also drop down the uh, full change log that Google posted over on their site uh, for Android O Developer Preview 1. In this video, what I mainly want to do is give you a rundown of my five favorite features. I I did flash the Android O uh, developer preview on my Pixel XL. You guys can see the new wallpaper right there. It's kind of hard to see in the sun, but I'll drop a link below to the wallpaper if you guys want to download the wallpaper on your phone. Now there's quite a few changes again. I'm going to run down my five favorites. The first one, picture in picture. Google is finally giving us a true uh, way to overlay media, sort of like YouTube videos, just exactly like this one. If you want to watch a video in picture in picture format, just like you would on your TV, you can now do that in Android O, Developer Preview 1. Uh, the nice thing about this is that now it's an appropriate time to do it because we're getting bigger screens, Galaxy S8, the LG G6, we're getting larger screens in still a very pocketable form factor. So it's a very appropriate time for Google to release the picture in picture feature. I hope that it's going to be really nice and work with a variety of apps. Of course, we'll have to see. Right now, it does work pretty well with YouTube, but of course, that's really a Google app, so we kind of expect that. Uh, the next thing that I really like is the custom shortcuts on the lock screen that you can add in the Android O developer preview. You can do this within the system UI tuner. Uh, previously, you're only able to have uh, the standard shortcuts that Google put on the lock screen. You have the uh, speaker and, of course, the uh, camera shortcut on the regular Pixel running 7.1.1. You can either get uh, Google Now Help or you can take a picture directly from the lock screen. Now you'll be able to launch whatever it is that you want. You can launch Google Chrome, Hangouts, a custom app, just by adding those custom app shortcuts. Of course, other OEMs have had support for this for quite a while, so it's not really something completely new, but it is nice to see it come to stock Android. The next thing, which is sort of behind the scenes, it's not something that you're necessarily going to notice when you look at Android O, that is the autofill APIs that are coming to the operating system. If you use apps like LastPass, like I do for your security, for your password manager, it's going to make it really nice because you won't have to always be constantly giving LastPass permission to autofill things. The autofill API is going to allow integration uh, for apps like that, which definitely makes it easier for you when you're entering things on, for instance, uh, Google Chrome, typing in things to order you know something on Amazon or what have you you're gonna have a much easier time doing that uh, notification channels are the next thing I want to talk about and that feature is definitely going to give you granular control over what you see in notifications in terms of in your tray notification tray as well as what you see on the lock screen because the lock screen has also gotten sort of a revamped ambient display which gives you the option of getting sort of a cleaner look and you can have apps that display the same sort of information as before but it certainly looks less intrusive it's also much much cleaner i will drop a link below to a quick gif that shows how these work in android o but it's definitely a nicer look the notification channels also allow you to determine exactly what apps you want to receive uh, notifications from and how you want to receive those notifications. For instance, if you want to receive them in the notification shade or if you want to receive them on the lock screen, etc. And also which type of notifications you want. So if you only want social media and for instance, maybe a Gmail or another email app to give you notifications, but you don't want to receive notifications from other apps like a news app or an RSS reader, you can set those limits on how and when you receive those notifications and from which channels you're getting notifications at any given time. Now this also has been bundled with the ability to snooze notifications up in the notification tray, which is certainly nice if you don't need to see a notification right now, but you might wanna have that come back later so you can act on it at a later time. The final thing I want to talk about is another behind the scenes improvement that Google's made and that is new background process handling that's actually going to allow you to save more battery life in Android O theoretically. Now of course we remember that Google tried this uh, with the Doze mode that was implemented quite a while ago. We saw Doze, it did improve things quite a bit in my opinion when you're running a stock Android phone like the Pixel. You do see those noticeable improvements and even now other OEMs of course have had the ability to have 
doze mode on their phones. Uh, whether or not, again, it makes huge uh, improvements, we'll see, but Google is trying to uh, rectify the issues we've seen with battery life on Android since the very beginning by limiting background processes, and supposedly, this is not going to affect usability, so you're still gonna get your full notifications, uh, everything that you would expect how the phone will work, but uh, background processes on certain apps will not be able to just sit there draining your battery uh, for no good reason, which we have often seen sort of rogue apps on Android that'll just drain your battery when you install them, uh, even when the screen is off. So it's great that Google is taking some steps to address that. So those are my top five favorite things. Again, this is just, I installed it three hours ago. Uh, I've been reading what everyone else has been saying. I've been using the phone myself, trying to see what I can find that's new. Overall, I will tell you that this is very, very buggy. So if you're planning on installing the Android O developer preview, you really need to make sure you have a second phone like I do so that you're not gonna be using this as your primary device. I've had a ton of apps, Force Close, uh, Action Launcher 3 Force Closed a couple times on me, which is my favorite launcher. I would expect that. A uh, whole bunch of things, Pocket Cast. I've had quite a few crashes on Android O developer preview one. Same thing happened last year with Nougat, so it's really no big deal. Uh, there's quite a few other changes to uh, the developer preview. We've got uh, support for wide color gamut displays, which we probably won't see until at least the Galaxy S8 uh, and later this year. We have a new settings menu completely revamped. Again, I encourage you to take a look at uh, Tim's video, QB King 77. I'll drop the link below. I'm sure he's going to talk about that. Uh, and a lot of other new options in System UI Tuner as well, in addition to the custom shortcuts on the lock screen, which I mentioned earlier. All right, guys, so if you want to grab Android O, again, I'll drop a bunch of the links down below, everything you need to see what else is out there, Google's full list of changes. I encourage you to do it if you have a backup device. If not, I would definitely not put it on your daily driver. All right, guys, that's it for me for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment below what you're looking forward to in Android O. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.